Hi, this is Pat Love with Pats Into Hair. And I want you to look at my hair right now. Hello, voila. Doing a turnaround so you can get a full degree of what it looks like. Now this hair has really been good to me. It really has. This hair, the part comes all the way up to here. Just a little hint of mine. This hair has been wonderful. Now, you know the worst thing that you have to deal with is running your fingers through the back, having it gnarl up and you, you're raking it through. But this hair has been wonderful. Look at that. So what I wanted to show you is the fact that I've had it in now for two weeks, around two weeks more or less not sure how much less or more but anyway i've had it in this is the 360 degree um uh, frontal that i talked about a couple of weeks ago and what i wanted to share is years ago i had bought some hair it was um a full lace wig it felt wonderful when the hair came it felt wonderful it's a different company altogether and this is why i caution you don't get too excited during the first week because just about the eighth or ninth day that hair starts acting crappy if it's not all it's chalked up to be another thing let me uh advise you if you want 18 inch hair by 20 if you want 22 inch hair by 24 i mean yeah 24 the reason i say that is a lot of these companies are not into hair care so they will send you hair that feels wonderful for the first day or so and then you'll start noticing a crack uh snap crackle pop at the ends and the reason for the snap crackle pop is because you've got split ends and sometimes you, you have as much as two or three inches of split ends. So what I do, I buy the hair longer than I want so that I can just go on and cut off two solid inches. Then when I run my fingers through that hair, whether it's soiled or whether it's clean, cold washed, wet or dry, the hair goes all the way through without you hearing the snap crackle pop. So anyway, or feeling it, you know how you feel it. It's like weird, weird feeling. Anyway, this is another thing I want to share with you. I know this is an update, but because I'm a hairstylist, I want to give some advice on the layout for your braiding underneath. A lot of people go straight back. That's fine. But this is what I say is a no-no. This is what has caused so many women frontal thinness and tension alopecia which nine times out of ten ends up being permanent i told a young lady years ago to stop doing this particular pattern it is very popular but so is the problem unfortunately people don't listen they make excuses and keep doing the same thing because they don't want to change their mo well listen if you really care about your hair or if you do hair and you care about your client's hair, stop doing this one. Stop doing the spiral that goes round and round and round and until you all the way to the edges. This is the reason. Because of the curvature of the head, what ends up happening is the hair grows, but instead of growing up and sitting on itself, it grows back because you started tension right here. Everything starts here. And you go round and round and round and every braid is connected. So when this starts to pull back because of the curvature of the head, this starts to pull back. And because this starts to pull back, this starts to pull back. And it all starts pulling back together. So this ends up, this started it, but then it starts resting on itself. But because of the curvature of the head, this continues to pull and people like that pattern because the hair feels snug even as it's growing out. 
But the reason it feels snug is because you have constant tension, constant pulling on your roots, which will eventually kill your papilla. And the papilla sits in the pocket of the root. The root itself is not what grows your hair. It is the papilla. And once you kill the papilla, you have killed your chances of ever growing hair back in that area. So please, ladies, stop this. Now what I do here is I braid horizontally from nape to nape behind the ear. I go up here behind the ear, behind the ear lobe. Get up here behind the ear from hairline to hairline. All the way across. Everything's across. Just straight across. Slightly curved because you can see the curvature. But most of it, for the most part, is all the way across. Just a minute. So when I go across like that, I have to stop because somebody's at the door. You do a horseshoe and then you do a, a cross across the top. And I'm going to stop right there. I just want to let you know that this is the healthiest way. 